Hi friends, welcome to my another video. This is the part third video in series of lightning protection system designing. In this video, I am going to cover the different method involved in order to design the lightning protection system. In part one and part two video, I already covered the risk assessment for the lightning protection system and the different classes of the lightning protection system. This video is all about the different method for the designing of lightning protection system. So let's start this video. There are three major method in order to design the lightning protection system. Protection angle method, rolling spare method and mesh method. Here I want to highlight one important point that for a single particular project, we can design the lightning protection system for that project by using all three methods also. This you will understand later, but as of now, just remember that like for a particular project, we can go for the rolling sphere method for some part of the lightning protection design and for some of the portion for this project, we can also go for the protection angle method. So all three method can also involve in order to design one single project. The rolling sphere method, mesh method and the protection angle method is used to determine the required positioning of lightning protection air terminal. What does it mean? We are going to use any of the method. Suppose rolling spare method, mesh method or the protection angle method. The motto of all this method is to determine the location of air terminals. Where will be the air terminals for this project? For example, I have the worker accommodation. Okay. Any of this method I will use in order to decide, decide the lightning protection system for our worker accommodation. So the, the whole motto of applying this rolling spare method or mesh method or the protection angle method is to determine the air terminals rod. Where will be the location of this air terminal rod that will be determined by this any of the method used for the designing of lightning protection system. Hope you are very clear. The rolling spare method is recommended as a most universal method rolling spare method is the most common method compared to mesh method and the protection angle method but there are some criteria where to use which method for the easy calculation like if the structure have a different shapes it's not a rectangular or not a square then the best method is the rolling spare method for the flat surface project for the flat surface project the best method is the mesh method and protection angle method can be used with limited vertical distance okay suppose in our project in our project there is one outdoor unit located and i am going to give protection of this outdoor unit from the lightning strike so this is only the small portion of the full project so such type of designing can be done easily through the protection angle method Okay, here there is very important point. The different designing method can be applied to different region of a single lightning protection system. As I told you earlier that for a single project, we can apply all these three methods in order to design the overall lightning protection design for this project. Here there is no restriction that if I use the rolling sphere method in that project, we cannot go for protection angle method. No. Based on the situation, the surface type, the project uh, dimensions, we can go for any of the method in order to design the overall lightning protection system, which is very, very important to note. In last part two video, I discuss about the class of lightning protection system that is class one, class two, class three and class four. Based on the class, the radius of the rolling sphere method will differ based on the selected class the mesh size will differ and based on the class selected the protection angle will change so based on the class what we selected for our project the rolling sphere the rolling sphere radius will change the mesh size will change the protection angle will change so here it is table given that for class 1 class 2 class 3 and class 4 type of lightning protection system what would be the rolling sphere radius and what would be the mesh size for the respective class and in this graph it is shown that for which class what would be the angle of protection let me explain you in more detail first we will consider the rolling sphere method for class 1 the rolling sphere radius to be 20 meter for class 2 it will be 30 meter for class 3 it is 45 meter and for from for class 4 it is 60 meter this is as per the IEC standard okay 
सेम वे फॉर क्लास वन द मेस साइज विल बी फाइव बाई फाइव मीटर फॉर क्लास टू द मेस साइज विल बी टेन बाई टेन मीटर द क्लास थ्री द फॉर क्लास थ्री द मेस साइज विल बी फिफ्टीन बाई फिफ्टीन मीटर एंड फॉर क्लास फोर द मेस साइज विल बी ट्वेंटी मीटर वट डज इट मीन आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज द रोलिंग स्पेयर मेथड एक्चुअली वेन आई विल कम टू दैट टॉपिक बट एज ऑफ नाउ अंडरस्टैंड इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट द इन ऑर्डर टू डिजाइन द लाइटनिंग प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम थ्रू रोलिंग स्पेयर मेथड वी विल इमेजिन वन स्पेयर ओके वन स्पेयर and depend on the class the radius will be different like suppose in our project worker accommodation we selected class 2 protection okay so we will imagine the radius a uh, uh, spare which having a radius of 30 meter okay suppose i select as i selected the class 2 protection for worker accommodation if i am going to choose the mesh method then the mesh size will be 10 by 10 meter meaning the distance between the two mesh is 10 meter from each other 10 meter okay now let us understand what is protection angle method okay suppose my building height is 20 meter okay and i am going to select class 1 protection for my project okay now if i will this is the class 1 protection graph this is the class 1 protection graph graph this is the class 2 protection graph this is the class 3 protection graph and this is the class 4 protection graph which is here hope you are very clear with this as of now now my building height is let's say not 20 meter in order to better understand i'm telling you it is 10 meter for example okay suppose my building height is 10 meter and i have selected class 1 protection okay so then what would be the protection angle it is the intersection point so here you see that it is intersecting here which is almost 45 degree 45 degree suppose i have a project which having a height of 10 meter but this time i'm not choosing class 1 but i have chosen class 2 protection then the degree of angle of protection will be somewhere around 55 degree in same way i have a project of 10 meter height and i have chosen this time class 3 protection then the protection angle will be somewhere around 40 64 to 65 in same way for class 4 protection the protection angle will be 70 degree celsius what this stand for we will learn in the when we will understand the different method but i am giving you the overview now this all ta this table and this graph is from the iec standard okay as we know our height of the building is around 13.6 meter okay so it will lie somewhere here and we have chosen class 2 protection i'll delete it for better understanding okay here our building height is 13.6 meter and we have chosen class 2 protection so here it will intersect here so it will be around 48 degree celsius so when we are going to design the lightning protection system for our worker accommodation through the protection angle method then we will use an angle of 48 degree celsius when i am going to design the lightning protection system through the rolling spare method then our radius imaginary spare radius will be 30 meter as we have chosen class 2 protect class 2 protection for our building if i am going to use mesh method for our worker accommodation project and as the class chosen is class 2 then the mesh size will be 10 by 10 meter hope you are very clear with this point here we have given one table and one graph this table and this graph is as per iec standard 62305-3 so this graph and table is governed by iec standard released by iec standard under 6230-3 so as per this standard it is clearly mentioned that for different class of protection there is a different radius to be consider for the rolling spare method there should be a different size of the mesh in order to design the lightning protection system through the mesh method and there will be a different degree angle of protection angle of protection in degree for the different height of the project and for different class of the lightning protection system this is all about this video in next video i will cover about the rolling sphere method in very detail what actually the rolling sphere method is and how to design the air terminal location for our worker accommodation project by using rolling sphere method so stay tuned and watch my all videos of the series we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye but don't forget to share my video with your electrical friends and to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the future videos update thank you so much